you ever wonder like why do i do what i do and uh especially making videos sometimes i just think why do i make these fishing videos and then um here last last week i fished all week like really hard and i got back on uh i'm back like on tuesday and i haven't fished i haven't fished at all since then i was like i just need a break it's saturday afternoon and I started getting that itch, like you know, I, I want to do, I want to fish somewhere, I want to do something. And then I started thinking, why do I even fish? And it's because I enjoy it. It's just easy and fun. And why? Big reason I don't target big fish or try to go after the big fish. I don't like all the, I guess, pressure or just the hassle it goes through. I like going down small streams and just catching fish. That's what it, that's what I enjoy. It's relaxing. It's fun. And sometimes I'm going to go after different stuff. But today I'm going to go back to a place that. I, I haven't been in a while, but it's just a good little spot. It's fun, relaxing, hopefully catch a few fish. Got a lot of traffic today, but I walked over here. I hadn't been here in a while. I looked down and I saw several nice bass swimming around. It was crazy, like, like good fish. There's a couple, man, look how many fish are down there. There's, look at all those, there's a lot of fish in there. Let's go look on the other side. I saw some decent, largemouth in there. I think they were largemouth. But they get spooked off so easy. I don't see them on this side. They're, oh, there's some bluegill right there. They're up under the bridge, I'm sure. The, oh, oh, right there, right there. I can't tell if it's showing up on the camera or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. Look at that. That's like a, that's over a pound largemouth right there. I was gonna go, and look at there's another one. I was gonna go with a lighter action uh, setup. I'm gonna have to go with a little bit heavier setup and throw a bigger swim bait and drop it in there real quick before I spook everything. I'll just drop it in there. Hopefully, I didn't scare them off. Well, let's put this bigger one down and go smaller. Oh, there's one. We got one fish. Uh, let's see what this thing is. That's a warmouth. Yep, that's a warmouth right there. A lot of people want to catch warmouth. They're just a cool fish. And I, I never know when I'm going to catch one. I don't have a place where I'm like, this is where I go to catch them. It's usually pretty random. But, yep, there's one. There's a the first little guy. Got him. And there's number two, green sunfish. Yeah, little green sunfish. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a good fish. That's a, oh, it's a good fish. I think. Oh, it's a big red breast. I didn't know what I had. I was just flicking it underneath the bridge. That's a big red breast. Nice guy there. All right, let's toss it back under that bridge. So hard. This is this vantage point is hard to approach these fish because they're they can see you so easy. They see your silhouette, and but when they get under that bridge, a lot of times they're just sitting under there, and then I can I swing my lure under it. And uh, they never, they're not really thinking about somebody. Oh, there's a bite right there. Somebody catching them. Well, I know one thing. What started out was an easy, relaxing, fun fishing. It's quickly turned into a challenge. I fished about 30 minutes there, and now I'm going to go down to the next bridge because uh, I'm going to get some fish. And it looks like it's you know that's just a small creek they kind of wash out and i think there's a couple of ponds maybe upstream that flow into it so fish wash through and it's always changing there's a deep hole downstream and uh i'm gonna go down there and see what's in it all right bridge number two. Oh, water's really clear today i maybe even scare the fish off standing right here let's see what we can get out of here 
Hopefully there's something ready to eat. Oh wow, got some action, but I don't know what those are. Some little stuff hitting at it. All kinds of little stuff in there. There's one. This guy attacked it. He came off the bank. He's a little bass. There's a bass though. <laughs> That's cool. He really hit that thing. A little large mouth. All right. I ain't getting nothing else out of here. Let's go to the trout magnet. I don't know if I can catch this thing with the wind. And if I get anything, I don't know if I can bring it up. Wow, they attacked it fast. Boom. They hammered that thing. Green sunfish. Hold on, little guy. Oh, man, he's back in. Let's try it again. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Boom. I think that's a shiner. They're just, they're right there waiting on something to come in. Oh yeah. Oh, what? what is that? What is that? Oh, little bass. There's just a bunch of fish right down in that. It's about two, three feet deep, right where the, you know, the current's coming in. And uh, they're just down there looking to eat something, but everything looks really little. God damn. Ooh, -hoo. what do we got here? Is that another, is that my second warm mouth today? It is another warm mouth. Look at that big old mouth they got. <laughs> nice, chunky, chunky little guy there. Oh, wind carried that one. And it carried it right into a fish's mouth. Oh no. Oh yes, it came back, it came back. I don't know how I got that back. It went off a barbed wire fence below me and everything. Ooh! Where are these fish coming from? What is that? Another war mouth! Tell me it's not the same one. It looks just like the one I caught before. This dude swallowed that trout magnet. <laughs> Look how fat that guy is though. Oh, I moved my camera down. There we go. Oh yeah. Man, I think I can stand here all day and do this. Wait, wait, wait. That's another one. I don't know what the deal is with the warm mouth, but they are in here thick today. There's this little, little chunky dude there. There he is. Yeah. I think that's another one. Come here. That is another one. I don't know what the deal is, but they are loaded in this spot. So warmouth, it's it's I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain the difference between a green sunfish. If you a green sunfish, rock bass, rock bass, and a warmouth are really close. And warmouth have a little bit of a like a pink patch behind their gill, reddish pink. They got a big mouth. They always have a big mouth. You know, I know that. They got a speckled up body, sorta. And they can look a little bit different. Sometimes they can look like somebody somebody might look at that and say that's a green sunfish, or somebody might say it's a rock bass, which it looks similar to them all. Uh, at least the wind is behind me where well, I can still oh there he is I watched that one come eat it I'm using a uh, I'm using my ultralight setup to lose ultralight rod and four pound line that's my trout magnet setup and just a multi like small creek setup now this here is a rock bass let's take a look at it All right, his body, he can be a little blotchy, but it's not blotchy. There's no pink behind him. That is a rock bass right there. Right. Let's put it back over there. 
Oh yeah, come on, come on. I see something looking at it. Got him. <laughs> it's really cool I can see, how I can see it so clearly right there. What is that? Their bodies are just like glistening in the sun right now. Dude, look how round that bluegill is. My goodness. Is that normal or not? He's got the most round body of a bluegill that I've ever seen. Maybe he's just gonna grow up and be one of those giant bluegill. They're definitely healthy in here. I don't know why I'm thinking about this all of a sudden, but I'd be interested to hear why do you like fishing? Like what, what's something the reasons that you go fishing or you do what you do? Some people do it. Like I, now I'm doing it for a job, but like I, I've said this all along, if I ever don't enjoy doing this, I'm gonna quit and go back to do something else. I can get a job doing something else. I can go back to heating and air. But I'm, I'm just having fun making these videos, showing people what's in here. And I'm surprised 66,000 people have subscribed. Even if they only watch you know, a video every once in a while, I really appreciate it. That is awesome. But leave a comment in there. One of the reasons you go fishing, why are you fishing? Maybe if you make fishing videos, I know a lot of other guys are out there making uh, videos on it. Just leave a comment, something about why you like doing what you're doing. Another thing that we ask why a lot about, and people you know, kind of wonder about this about me and ask some questions like, why am I a Christian? Why do I share Bible verses on my videos? And I'll talk about, you know, uh, being a Christian is important and it's something that's very important to me. It says in the Bible, we love him because he first loved us. And John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. And I guess that's why I probably, I guess that's why I do what I do because I love God and I want to obey his commandments and follow him, not out of fear or like anxiety. It's just because I believe that's the right thing to do. And I want to be the right kind of influence and um, use and be the right kind of testimony to others. I know everybody has it, you know, has what they believe and there's different things, but I believe the Bible is the truth and it's what we should go by. And a lot of things going on in this world, people are trying to figure things out themselves. They're never going to figure it out themselves. God's the only one that can solve those problems. And, you know, COVID-19 is going on, uh, racial tension things, you know, they're always talking about on the news. And... What, what I try to do, I, I just live my life. I try to love everyone. I'm trying to do what's right. I want to try to obey God, follow what the Bible says. I'm trusting in him. He's got everything in control. If I get sick, if I die, if something happens, then it's part of God's plan. I'm not going to try to do anything dumb, but it gives us, he gives us brains to think, but he also wants us just to trust in him and not be trying to trust in ourselves. So I don't know. Sometimes I, I, I want to just share a few things uh, about why I do what I do. And that's something that I plan on doing on my channel that hopefully i mean there's other people doing it out there but a lot of people you know you're not gonna they're not showing about themselves i, I want to be a open book as much as i can and no i'm not perfect and no and yes you're gonna find things that you you disagree I, there's there's stuff that people disagree with some of the things i do about fishing or this and that or about certain things i you know believe but i'm just trying to do what i i think is right according to the bible and follow his will thanks for watching appreciate all the support